Greetings, survivors, and welcome to Gun Heaven. And uh, by that, of course, I mean the Cataclysm with Brutus Salazar. Okay, so M3 recoilless rifle, nice. Uh, H and K UCP. Let's grab both of those. What we got over here? Got uh, some ammo, a utility vest, nice, useful. Uh, we've got an L523 MBR rifle and a flashlight. Grab you. We've got an LW32 magazine. We've got an L12 Defender. We will be having a look at what all these things are. NATO, so we've got some ammo there. Uh, some more ammo there, obviously. Flashlight. Um, MRE hot dogs. Meals ready to eat. Got smoke cover. Uh, that's a smoke grenade. Full metal jacket. We've got a submachine gun. We've got an RM11B scout rifle. Got a holster, uh, FN Scar H, an M320 standalone launcher, pair of ballistic glasses, and some more ammunition. Oh my lord, did we just hit the jackpot there, though? Right, so let's have a quick look, shall we? Let's let's have an actual peek. Oh, I I ate him off the video. Uh, at least I didn't eat something worse. Uh, right, let's have a look. So, standalone launcher. It's just a launcher. Um, you know, does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, we've got a rifle here. We've got now oh, the scout. It's made with super alloy and ceramic. Oh, you know what? I, I kind of feel that I need to pull all of these things out into our inventory so we can have a proper, proper look at them. Uh, let's see, how many things can I can I grab? A decent amount of them. Fender. We don't really need the magazine, but uh, one of the things with this, uh, with Cataclysm at this point, is a lot of items. Um, let me just drop all those down. Magazines. Uh, a lot of weapons uh, that, that uh, guns and some non-guns. I, I, I believe there are, like for example, you can make magazines for a crossbow, uh, but instead of the traditional reloading you use magazines and if you don't have magazines then it takes a very long time to reload and it's actually incredibly dangerous as a result of that right let's uh drop all of these down and then go through them one at a time so first uh well actually i guess i can pick all of them up and then just drop them in the uh, in the swagon as we go so we've got here uh designed to work with the h and k's propriety 4.6 30 millimeter round. The UCP is a small pistol with a very high capacity, best used against armored opponents. Very well. And I've got uh, some loaded versions. Leadworks LLC Bullpup L523 platform utilizes the ubiquitous 5.56 round in multiple applications and is designed to part swap quickly, safely, and effectively from one to the next. The Battle Rifle's propriety combination optic and red dot sights provide quick and accurate targeting with a foregrip available for greater control. Like the rest of the family, though, it doesn't accept third-party modifications. Okay, so we can't really do too much with that. The M3 recoilless rifle. Manufactured in Sweden, the Carl Gustav M3 is a breech-loading 84mm man-portable, reusable, multi-role recoilless rifle commonly used by the US military. Very well. I've uh, just got some ammos here. Uh, eight by 40 millimeter caseless rounds, full metal jacket, military grade ammunition for RivTech firearms. Being caseless rounds, these cannot be disassembled or reloaded. Very well, now we can drop those safely in here because we've had a good read. Grab the next group of things to investigate. Uh, in fact, all of them. Uh, the FN SCAR, a highly accurate and modular battle rifle speedily uh, sorry specially designed for the United States Special Operations Command the H in its name stands for heavy as it uses a powerful .308 round the L12 defend and I'm interested in this one Ledworks LSE sole shotgun offering to date it's surprisingly compact thanks to its moving barrel and forward back pump mechanism like most other Ledworks products it doesn't accept third party modifications uh, we've got a standalone launcher uh, Heckler and Koch's 
M320 grenade launcher offers the functionality of a larger launcher in a very small package at the cost of decreased accuracy. This one is combined with a bull's uh, buttstock for standalone operation. The yeah, scout rifle. Intended to function as a long range sharpshooter support weapon for the military, the Rivtech RM11B scout rifle was designed for durability and accuracy under less than ideal circumstances. Its bullpup layout, integrated suppressor, and digital scope and two round burst mode allows it to deliver precise long range takedowns utilizing the proprietary Rivtech 8mm caseless round. Except stick magazine. And shotgun. Utilizing the powerful and unusual caliber, the Rivtech RM2000 submachine gun was designed for durability and the ease of carrying under less than ideal circumstances. And the flare gun obviously is a flare gun. A plastic single shot pistol that can be loaded with a single flare. And LW magazine. As said, it's a magazine, a 32 round polymer magazine for Ledworks LLC 223 firearms. Lightweight and reliable, but somewhat more difficult to reload. And we've got some grenades. A 40mm grenade designed to provide smoke cover. Uh, we've got four of those. Got some NATO ammo. Ammunition with a 62 grain full metal jacket bullet containing a steel penetrator. It's a lightweight, high accuracy, and manageable recall lead to widespread use in, oh, sorry, led to widespread use in the 20th century, and it remains popular among mil militaries and civilians. Uh, we've got another FMJ. And pretty much just ammo. Now, am I gonna be using guns? There may be times when it is especially important for me to do so, yes. Though those times are going to be fewer and further between, uh, it is a possibility. We'll have to see how that goes, though. What on earth happened here? Hmm. Looks like that wall has been completely messed up, but okay. And down here we should find a new area. Yeah, it looks as if the walls are all kind of messed up there. Very strange. Oh, poor city. He's having a bit of a cough there. Right, let's go ahead and delete that note from here. Delete note. And then we want to butter our way through this rock. Now, we are very thirsty, unfortunately. Uh, some dark cola. Um, and some clean water. Let's uh, start working our way through the clean water then. And toolbox, metal, and once again, place a plank over the pit. Excellent. And grab everything in there, and of course, we'll just pick up the rocks, because I told him to, and I am dissatisfied when it happens. It, uh, really, I bring this on myself. Oh, hello. From the southeast, you hear a whack. You've spotted a dissector to the west. Good news. All right, well, let's pop in here then and see what we can see. We've got a pair of safety glasses, gallon jug of ammonia, always useful. I mean, can of crisp cranberry, I approve. Now, you may be able to burrow out of there, given time. But for now, you seem to be isolated, which is good for me. Let's close this door, because I'm going to try and release you. Gummy vitamin, saline eye drops. Oh, we've got, ooh, lots of things. A pair of fit over sunglasses, advanced economics. Enjoy. And um, bubble wrap, actual joy. Uh, right. Let's see, fire extinguisher, pair of reading glasses. Ah, okay, there's no more room. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just start picking them up uh, myself then. And let's try and hack. Login successful. Move to containment release. Password required. Yes. Doors opened. Marvelous. Thank you very much. Now we should see. A little friend down there, heading out. Make sure that this is reloaded. Oh, dear me. Everything wants to reload now. Hello? Oh, that's right. I know you're there. Come on. You're not coming this way? Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to. Alright, there's the door down there. It's going to be quiet tight little fight, though, that I'm not specifically excited about. Uh, alright. Can you see me? Oh, hello. A uh, terrible shriek. Yes, I know. It's fine, though. You'll come and say hello in a moment, won't you? 
No? Well, then I will say hello to you. Uh, no, don't ignore it. There we go, good. Hello. Let's pull back. We'll probably pop its head out in a moment. There we are. Stop! Picking the swagon, please. Damn it. Okay, I need to wield the steel spear and just take a couple of hits, I guess. Store an inventory. And then just take it out normally. There we go. At least the swagon stopped taking so much damage there. Uh, there we are. We'll just butcher you and then go take care of this one as well. Where are you? Did, did it get completely butchered? Yes, it did. It was completely cut up. Fantastic. Alright, let's take five. There we are. Right. Uh, we can probably get... Well, no. Let's get these across. The ceramic shards are the only ones that really matter there. Uh, sure. We'll butcher those. doesn't really matter to take any of the rest. It's not something that uh, is important to me. SD memory card, sure. Uh... Over we can, some coding, calcium tablets, but realistically, not much of any particular importance. We'll grab what we can. Right, that's it. And that's all of the, uh, the special areas sorted out on this side, I would say. So we'll delete that. Now, I believe there was one more over here that I wasn't able to access at the time and I didn't leave a note on. So we will go and have a quick peek and see if we can't find it, but uh, I think we're more or less good. Uh, right, we want to get down here if we can. Uh, actually, we want to be over there. There we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, bit of a long, long, arduous track. Considering I thought I was done with these areas, there's also the turret type we need to take out too. But that'll be something that we can work on a little bit later. All right. First and foremost, let me drop any rotten meat down there. There we go. Goodbye. Now. Now, now, now. Uh, we're going to want some clean water. And also some biscuits as well. Two biscuits, I think. Should be good. Three biscuits, alright. Fair enough. You're, you're, you're a hungry lad. Right, okay, so... In this wagon, we want to get rid of pretty much all of the guns, all of the ammo, all of the magazines, the combat knife, pretty much mm, most of that, not all of it though. And uh, now all of the clothing can go in there. And yeah, I will possibly go back for the Kevlar. I'm not sure that we will, but it's a possibility. It, it's not as important, realistically speaking. Alright, uh, let's drop those off, and then we'll redo the rest. Ceramic shards, yep, that all needs to go. Plastic bottles as well. And the ammonia, obviously. Pipes stay. But other than that, we're good. So many spikes. Alright, we can start pulling that with us. Uh, actually, no, I do, in fact, want it to come with us. There we are. Now, read. Post quarters fighting manual. Take our melee skill to three. We've already got that. Uh, the shotguns, the art and science. Bring our shotgun skill to three. Maybe. 26 uh, recipes, most of which we've probably already got to some level or another. So drop off both of those. Oh, actually, we've got some items on me as well. Uh, yeah, we can drop all of these off. There we are. And in fact... Wheel the pneumatic bolt driver, please. Store the spear in my inventory. Now, we want to... Oh. Right, chapter of this book will take 10 minutes to read. And this one. And we're going to read them. There's no reason not to. I've learned the essential elements of the style, and Crab Maga learned the essential elements of the style. Can I get anything from it? I already know this book has to teach. That's fine then. Drop them off. Right, now then... We can have a look at the different styles that we have. Let's, uh, let's store that in my inventory. Now, safe mode is on. Good. Uh, I want to change the style that we're using. 
How does one do that? Uh, these are my abilities. That's not what we want. No. Hmm. Oh, it was question mark? No. No. Damn. What was the key to discover your combat style? I completely forget. I will have to check. Uh, so, the way you check is, well, actually not through there, you'd go through key bindings. There we go. So, style maybe? There we are. Select and there we go. Perfect. Right, so these are the styles that we've got. Keep hands free. This is off. Force unarmed. No, we don't want that. Uh, dance like style with its roots in Brazilian slavery. We've been work working with that one. Brawling, you're used to hand to hand creature fighting, not stylish or sporting, but it gets the job done. Ninja 2 is the martial art and set of tactics used by Ninja in feudal Japan. It focuses on rapid, precise, silent strikes. Ninja 2 is almost entirely silent. It also provides small combat bonuses every time you move. And Crab Maga, originating in Israel. Crab Maggot is based on taking down an enemy quickly and effectively. It focuses on applicable attacks rather than showy or complex moves. Popular among police and armed forces everywhere. That's the one that we're going to be switching over to for now. Right, with that done, the next location for us to check out would be up there, I believe. We may have already gone through there, though. I think we did. So, yeah, this wasn't a, a, little, a bad little little visit, certainly. I think we are going to need to make some more clean water, though. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with this one, and we're going to make as many charges as we can. There we go. We consume some. Yeah, go ahead. Then pour it into a container. First our water skin, then pour it into another container. Gallon jug of clean water. Then pour it into some plastic bottles as well. Okay, that's sorted. We could possibly have a look at some food. There's no food that we can make, actually. Interesting. Uh, okay. That's a bit of a problem, actually, but okay. Electric fire starter. Mm. Let's have a look at Survivor. Like Survivor masks. Have we got any of the heavy Survivor gear yet? No, we don't. Okay, well, that's fine. We should be all right for now. Perhaps we'll do a little bit more reading, though. Advanced Guide to Emergency Care or Advanced Economics. Ah, of the two, I think we'd probably much prefer Emergency Care. So let's continue reading. We don't have very long to go on this book, I don't think. Uh, no, ignore the klaxon. It's fine. We'll make a, a reasonable progress through this. We've got a decent amount of light. Keep going. There we are. And we can no longer learn any more from this book. Now, to have a quick gander at how that's affected things, let's grab... Hmm. I don't really think we need advanced memory books. Uh, remote controller CBM, diamond cornea, the cycler unit. We could grab that one. Um, yeah, let's try the, the recycler unit, shall we? That might be a good one to uh, work on. I can scale up to level 8 as well. I'll just grab that book for now. Human bones, so many rocks I don't even know what to do with. Alright, recycler unit would do 24% chance. That's not bad. That's actually dropped it a decent chunk. Uh, let's grab one of the other CBMs that were more recently picked up. I believe this one had like a 36% chance to not install correctly. Down to 33. So we've dropped that by 3 points. Now, as you might imagine, having a good electronic skill is, I think it is as important as the first aid skill. So currently we've got our first aid skill of eight. We've got an electronic skill of one, I think. Yeah, one, which is really bad. If we could bring that up to eight, we would probably be able to install many of these bionics without much issue at all. We might still need the auto dock. Uh, I have been corrected, though. The system of replacing self-installation is only kind of Half implemented. You do, however, need the autodoc to remove bionic. So if you have a failure and then it accidentally put in a broken bionic as a result, it's a lot harder to fix that. A lot harder to fix that. So that's definitely something worth bearing in mind. Uh, right, we've got Crab Marga edged and Crab Marga 
hand to hand, increase stabbing damage and increase unarmed power. Very nice indeed. Irradiated. Not as good. Not as good. Let's see, have we got anything that I can quickly grab to help with that? Mm, don't think so. We might have something upstairs. We've got some tablets up top, I think. Uh, we've got just calcium tablets. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to pop up top. What on earth has happened? Ah, oh, it's snow. That's kind of sweet. Oh my lord. There's a lot of blobs down there. They are breeding. But yes, of course, it's winter. Right. Uh, potassium iodide tablets, which I do believe are something that we can use to try and help with that. Uh, potassium iodide tablets. Have a look. If taken prior to exposure, they help to mitigate injury caused by radiation absorption. Mm. Okay, well, that's not going to actually help me then. All right. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Still, maybe it would help in some small way. I'll take one and just hope. We'll also bring it with us. Uh, what's the battery like? Mm, it's not charging particularly fast, unfortunately. But was I really expecting it to? Uh, we'll drop those off down here. There we are. And we will do a little bit more reading, I think. Uh, we're currently level 7, so we only need a little bit more. And we'll be at the very top of our cooking game. Uh, no, we'll just keep going for a while. Keep ignoring. There we are. Once we hit level 8, we'll be able to make the basics of mutagens, I believe drop that off and then just see what I can now make based uh, mute I can now make mutagen they bleach ammonia blob globs or dehydrated tainted meat chunk of tainted meat all those sorts of horrible things a rare substance of uncertain origins causes you to mutate now I'd need a tool with chemical making of three or more I believe we may have the means to make that possible Let's actually have a look through chemicals, though. So, mutagen, I, I can make purifier as well. You need two mutagens to make it, so it's not a cheap thing to make, but it's definitely not a terrible one either. We may be seeing the use of our robust genetics in the very, very, very near future. I am quite excited to check that out. The combination of bionics and uh, mut uh, mutations is a very, very strong. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some clean water from the gallon jug, I think. And there we go. And we'll actually top all the way up. Yeah, sure. Right, with that then, I think it's time for us to head on back down. Done more or less everything we wanted to do up here. Just close the, the gate, of course. And with... The, actually, let me... Well, I suppose we'll leave that open, just so I know where I've been. Right. Let me move everything out of the swagon to this tile. Then we'll move the swagon down. There we go. There we go. And we can apply the swagon just there and start dropping things off. Uh, well, actually, I can wear that one. That's not an issue. Wear, not wield. There we go. All right, let's grab everything. Cart it all downstairs. And we'll be bringing those. I can probably pick up everything else. We will be bringing the MREs, though, uh, since they're so convenient. There we go. And we'll probably need a multivitamin. What time is it? I don't know, because I haven't got my pocket watch on me. Like a scrub. Let me grab all of these. Uh, saline eye drops and the... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> don't need all of this. In fact, I'm going to drop the blanket and the undershirt right there. Uh, I guess the others they can come with, but... Let's just drop these down. 
I mean, I, the antibiotic isn't bad. In fact, the antibiotic is an amazing find. All right, grab you. Now let's uh, quickly take out the things I need on me at all times. So the steel spear, bone flute, naturally. I watch a snail crawl along the edge with a straight razor. Uh, okay. Uh, the makeshift crowbar. Uh, yeah, we want those on us because if we, they're not with us, I can't make use of them. Uh, everything else can more or less just stay in there. And we're good to go. Right. Well, was there anything over here that I wanted to continue reading? Oh, the handgun, advanced physical chemistry. Nah, nothing, nothing particularly important. Ah, that's where my, my tinder went. Come with me, you. My lord. Right, so, with all of that done, got a couple of places that we want to be. Barracks is one of them. So, let's make our way over there. Now, I believe this was actually an empty room, more or less. Yep, it was. So, we just want to be heading over in this direction. Now, I don't much recall what I've discovered down here or not. It's been a little while. So, I think we just need to... Continue going down this direction? No, no, not this direction at all. We need to round back and up. There we are. Now, is the door on this side? No, that was a regular door. Hmm. What's in that room then? Have I explored that space? Yes, I had. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing a potential secret. You do have to be aware of the uh, shape of the world around you. It's very easy to miss out on something particularly important. That, way. that is not something I want to play with, I now recall. And we went up past the cloning bats. That's right. Okay. And there's also a way down there. You know, just because, clearly... We want to be messing with these things on the lower levels. In fact, the, as with most dungeons in, in most games, really, the further down you go, the better the loot you find. So you do actually really want to be going down. All right. This one has not got our way down. That would be up here, then. Is this explored? Yes, that is explored. What about down here? Explored. Some doors I have not gone to. Okay, so I've got a better idea now of our immediate position with regards to everything else. Got some items back here. That door hasn't been opened. That is suspicious. And no, it's fine. It's just a storage room. Okay. Alright, I would like to swap those around. Start hauling everything into the swag when I can. Uh, anything there? No. Sure, so I don't care for those. Uh, what about up here? Ah, that's right. We actually managed to reach the the stone blocked wall i do seem to recall that and it looks like this is going to be access to the barracks okay so we're back finally now had i finished exploring the barracks is the question uh, i don't believe i had oh no apparently i had apparently we have gone through the vast majority of things here okay so an entire episode and more or less half of another one and we're finally there. It is a magazine entrance, so uh, yeah, let's try. Uh, that hurts. Fair enough. I'm just going to deconstruct this furniture. <laughs> and let's pop all of that in there, and then we'll just go through the normal way. But peak man hack. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm not too worried about a man hack. It is aware of me. So. Let's take a shot. Oh, dear. Oh, no, there we are. I managed to draw it. Okay. Anything else? Close that door. All right. Not too bad. Okay, let's start seeing what we've got. Broken man hack and a blade. Oh, dear. Mm. That was unfortunate. I don't think it's actually noticed me. There we are. Not terribly bad. This is a potentially dangerous area, obviously. 
Right, let's uh, reload. There we go. And of course, butcher the scientist for those sweet, sweet bionics. Power storage, burnt out bionic. That's a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, it's not terrible. Uh, oh, I haven't picked up my pocket watch. How awful. What is my pocket watch? Where's my pocket watch? This is this is bad times. Oh no! Don't have my pocket watch. Well, this is quite possibly the worst of days. <sighs> all right, cut up all we can, and just load everything onto the wagon. Uh, steel toed boots. That's not too bad. Lots of cash. Power storage CPM. Nice. Uh, actually, activate the power storage CPM if you can. Sure. There we go. Just, you know, just a spot of surgery while I'm stood here. Uh, just because I can. Uh, we've got an L523 MBR rifle. I wonder what you are. Let's have a look then. Uh, Bullpup. Uh, it was the same one that we've already seen. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there we are. I'll drop that off. And what we got over here? Some just random bits and bobs. Uh, a G80 magazine. Oh, okay. And very nice. A new type of gun. Let's have a look at you. Well, apparently, I did not pick that up. This is designed to replace the M4A1, the Heckler and Koch uh, 416A5 features most of the former strengths while being considerably more durable. Okay, just just a, an upgrade over the previous model then. Plenty of coding in these areas. Uh, Stanak magazines, more ammo. What else we got? More ammo. advanced electronic cigarette. Not really something we care about. FN Scar, we've already got one of those. You. What else we got here? A duffel bag. Not a bad find. One that I'm actually going to be keeping with us. A steel plating MBR vest. Lots more ammo. I approve of that. A magazine for the, the skirt. And, oh, our RMSB 40 20 by 66 millimeter extended magazine. Look what a belt fed magazine there. But that is wonderful. Got all we came for. All right, with that then, we can mark this as fully explored. Excellent. We're not going to worry too much more about the things that are there. Right. So, it's back to the hunt for us. And generally making our way around these areas. Ah, oh, that does deeply upset me, though. Where on earth is my pocket watch? Okay, just floodlights. That's fine then. Uh, some goo pits as well, though. Refrigerator. Mm. Problem with this? I can't easily see. Because my uh, night vision is messed up. But I don't think there's going to be a turret in this room simply because it's a barracks. Uh, packed with cigarette. But that could easily have been the end of us. <laughs> just for going into this city room. Uh, anything in there? Nothing that I can easily see. No, nope. so I'm going to take some big risks moving in there. We're now exploring along the north wall, which is okay, I suppose. What about in here? Another room down. Very well. It's not so bad. Uh, there we are. So we've got a couple of well-lit rooms. Aren't all the best, but ooh, what have we got here then? Something interesting. A hot plate. Marvellous. More hot plates. I will never turn you guys down. Salt Peter. Ammo. Right in here. Probably a dissector. Yeah. Pair of rubber boots. Sure, we'll grab it just for the rubber. It's fine. Uh, we'll actually close that door just so I can remain more or less concealed as I peek around these doors. Another trap room. Potassium iodide tablet. Okay, that's better. 
No need to take unnecessary risks there because we were able to approach the room from the other side. I'm not going to open that door for the same reason. Nothing in there. Okay. What have we got? Polo shirt. Doesn't really matter to me. Ooh, what are these? None of the seats. I don't mind if I do. Uh, got a belt, more than likely. Oh no, a light jacket. Okay. Alright. Well, we can open these doors up safely now. To a certain degree, anyway. Uh, got to bring the swagger out this way. There we go. Right. Okay, so we're back to one of the crossroads. And in fact, one that I've been to previously. Alright, that's a... Uh, Interesting one. Ah, yes, yes, of course. So we've gone full circle. We've checked out everything to the north. Now we need to start looking to the south, of course. I think, yep. Yeah. All right. So this is on the way down to the doorway. Ah, okay. So uh, that's the stairs up that we couldn't access before. Uh, prisoner containment entrance. Yes. Login successful. Unlock entrance. Yes. Lock disabled. Press any key. Thank you. Uh, oh. That's what happens when you assume you know what you're doing. Hmm. Yeah. Bad times. Let's just close that door. Ah. Uh, peek around. I mean... I was certain that this was the door. Wow. I guess it doesn't really matter what I thought. Anything in there that I need to deal with? Can't tell, but let's pop in since it's a bit darker. Uh, there we are. It looks like a, a flu shot. Hmm. Plastic bottle of non dry cough syrup. Yeah, we'll grab that. Uh, the swag at least starting to get a little bit over full now. The zombie brute is fine. It's... Uh, if it's seen us, it's going to start trying to break through, but I'm fairly confident in Salazar's ability to deal with this brute. Hello, brute. Uh, yeah, you're going to just whack there impotently for quite some time. Okay, so where was that door that we came down through? There is apparently a way up here. A way up that I know about. Hmm... Maybe this was? No, I, I can't see it. Most curious indeed. Very well. Uh, should we try? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think it would be better for us to deal with the brute. Wow. If we dig through the rebar, the brute will break through the rebar itself. If I open the doors, the brute's still going to be a massive pain. All I need to do is dig through the concrete so that the brute will have access, and then I can just shoot it and then back out and then shoot it again. That is the way that we're going to be approaching this one, I think. But that's going to be for the next episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed this one, though. We are back to exploring this level, having now successfully finished uh, looting the important locations on the level above. Hopefully we're going to find more bionics. At this point, we can actually cook purifier and mutagen. So there is a 100% chance of Brutus Salazar becoming a mutant in the next couple of episodes. Not this one, probably, but, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll even get our cooking and, and uh, cooking skill up high enough to make mutagenic serum. That will be interesting. We'll see how it goes. But that's it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, survivors.